Hi guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Thank you very much for listening to this YouTube channel. July 24, our market drop 16.31 points or down 0.25% to close at 6,631.25 value turnovers at 2.77 billion pesos. So today is also the second SONA state of the nation address of our president, Bongbong Marcos, and all eyes on his speech no? so it will dictate the direction of our market in the next 12 months no? and, and yun nga, yun nga, the power energy development of Dexter Tew quietly debut today no? so they're also into renewable energy no? so developer of uh, runoff river hydro projects no? so it closed 0.80 percent higher so IPO prices at 5 pesos and just before the closing bell, Armstrong Securities bought uh, close to 2 million shares or around 10 million pesos, which uh, created a frenzy. No? So, na hype yung mga tao dyan. But let's see if there will be some follow through. No? And some uh, some 52 week high on DG, which we extensively discussed the past few weeks. I hope meron kayo niyan. No? So, it continues to go up. Anyway, PAL you know, partnered with China Airlines as they added more flights to Taiwan. So, it looks like na we're uh, slowly recovering from this pandemic. So, sabi nga ni, uh, we, inano na natin, tinanggal na natin yung mga restrictions sa uh, COVID, no? So, COVID, please! No? So, COVID will be part of our lives na. So, it's just a normal flu right now. And, yun na, no need to wear face masks outdoor. By the way, no, Megaworld is opening the country's biggest hotel inside their west side city township in Paranaque. So, of course, it's now consolidating above 2 pesos. So, after being removed from the index, nandiyan lang siya. So, let's see if not matapos yung overhang dyan. Ali continues to go up no after, yun nga, that screaming buy call natin ng 24 pesos. It's now close to 29 pesos. Semirara, no? 3 days up na. No? After breaking out from from 28 pesos. So, so let's see. Uh, you know, for all eyes on, on, on those stocks na pwede pasukan ni Maharlika, no? sabi nga ni Benjamin Jock, no? our finance secretary, uh, this Maharlika fund will be operational this year end. No? Speaking of which, no? BSP is unlikely to cut interest rates in the medium term. No? Sabi rin niya. What else? No? So muted volume as uh, walang, walang settlement today. No? Index uh, PSE lang meron transaction but other than that public schools were uh, shut down and yun nga at yung mga settlements clearing wala rin so talaga natulog lang yung volume BDO 52 week higher rin no Lode is also up but low volume so mega wide the power Sabi ko, just be quick there. No? If you also check the other two stocks, no? so Discovery World, so you will know naman uh, ano yung ano niya. No? Private placement, Mega World, Emirate. ASEN no? uh, also approved the funding of its five special purpose vehicles for development activities. FYI lang. Uh, federal Land of GTCAP is also planning to widen its retail portfolio on township development. And Globe is urging the government to continue with its reform as the country shifts into digitalization moving forward. Speaking of Globe and TLDT, they're also offering prepaid fiber. No? So that will challenge Converge, no? which is nauna dyan sa segment yan. AEV, no? uh, one of their subsidiaries will be supplying water to Davao City as they aim to start its operation by third quarter of this year. No? So other than that, all sim, nagtuturoan na sila. No? So, of course, that's a problem when your the public float drops below 10%. PSE will automatically suspend you. And if there will be some tender offer, you need to do that outside the exchange. So, if eh, nasa inyo na yan, if you want to risk your money or not. No? So, CMX is now trading close to 10%. No? So, that's a problem with whole sim. Uh, it is subject to capital gain stocks. But, yun nga. Nangyari na daw to before and PSE didn't suspend 
FP, no, which is now consolidating or at least trading at 50 pesos. Dati yung when uh, Pure Foods uh, and San Miguel Brewery were merged to Pure Foods, no? it created the largest food and beverage company from on ang. The public float dropped to close to 6%. But after some day, a few days, he lifted in the PSE. So, what happened there? Ano ba difference ngayon? No? The, the difference, no, before, uh, there's no delisting there. So, it was merged to accommodate. No? So, there there's some plans to do some follow-on offering to increase the public float. This one naman is totally different. No? So, this one, nag, nag, nag placement sila, no? I mean, binili niya yung shares ni, binili ni Holcim yung shares nung Sumitomo, the Japanese partner, which caused the public float to drop at 5%. Talagang, uh, yeah, no, there's no win-win solution here. I hope uh, the minority shareholders no, can find a better solution here. IPO price of Holcim during early 90s, or at 9 pesos eh, so talo pa talaga. No? Anyway, thank you very much for listening. No? Our passcode for today is Holcim. No? Bye-bye!